but a key describer of the fact that there's a coup going on is that Ofcom might not as well exist. Exist only for me, perhaps. Because all of the television stations in Britain, and I mean all of them, every single one of them, are all day and all night engaged in a coup to bring down the British Prime Minister, the Mountbank, Boris Johnson. And when you've got Channel 5, Channel 4, Sky News, BBC Television, BBC 2 on Newsnight, every BBC local radio station, even in Scotland, they are discussing tea parties in Downing Street. When Scotland's got its own parliament, its own so-called government, which is literally dripping in sleaze up to its neck in criminal behavior, actual criminal behavior. The police are investigating a missing sum of £600,000 from the Scottish governing party's internal coffers. And yet, the television in Scotland is discussing a birthday cake in Downing Street in London. So I've lived through a lot in my life and I know a coup uh, when I see one. And this is a coup to get rid of Boris Johnson. From our point of view, in a way, what do we care? Uh, we'll despise the next Tory leader just as much as we despise Boris Johnson. But it shows the crises, multiple crises and divisions inside the British ruling elite. Uh, but they're united against Russia.